Exploring the phrase, love boat, unraveling its meanings. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's episode where we're going to explore the fascinating phrase, love boat. Whether you're learning English as a second language or just curious about English idioms and phrases, this video will help you understand not just the meaning, but also the context and usage of the phrase, love boat. So, let's set sail on this linguistic journey. Firstly, let's look at the literal meaning of, love boat. This phrase combines two words, love, which signifies deep affection and emotion, and boat, a vehicle used for traveling on water. Literally, it could imply a boat associated with love or romance. However, in English, Phrases often have meanings beyond their literal interpretations. Now, let's dive into the figurative meaning. Love boat often refers to any setting or situation where romance is the main theme. It can be used to describe a cruise or a trip where couples are likely to enjoy romantic experiences. This phrase became particularly popular due to the American TV series, The Love Boat which depicted the romantic adventures of people aboard a cruise ship. In this section, we'll explore cultural references. The TV show, The Love Boat, which aired from the late 1970s to the mid-1980s, played a significant role in popularizing this phrase. The show portrayed a cruise ship as a place where people fall in love, leading many to associate the phrase with romantic escapades at sea. Moreover, the phrase sometimes appears in songs, literature, and other media, often maintaining this romantic connotation. Let's practice using love boat in some sentences. 1. Their honeymoon cruise was like a real love boat, full of romantic dinners and beautiful sunsets. Two. Ever since they met on that cruise, they've been living in their own love boat adventure. Notice how the phrase is used to convey a sense of romance and adventure, often linked to a journey or a special experience. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, love boat, in a comprehensive manner. It's a wonderful example of how English phrases can have literal meanings but are often used in more figurative and culturally nuanced ways. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be navigating through the seas of English idioms and phrases with ease. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting lessons. Happy learning and see you in the next video!